This shirt says promoted to big cousin because my sister-in-law just had a baby today. Say hi, it's been a while, huh? He's gonna try to grab this for me the whole time. Um, I figured I would vlog today um, because tonight I'm going to be trying to organize, organize and clean our closet out and start packing up some stuff. Okay. <laughs> so I figured I would just show you guys that and um, I'm probably gonna do it after Jax goes to bed tonight. Um, he's cranky today. Mommy, he's, guess what? What? We're going for a walk. You wanna go for a walk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I am getting a snack and Jax is about to follow me and try to eat it. I'm having Skinny Pop and an Alani energy drink, which I have to put up here the whole time because Jax likes to grab everything. He's in that stage right now where he just wants to grab and get into everything, including the toilet. He likes to climb on the couch. He likes to climb on Shay's gaming chair. So I feel like when you're moving, it gets messier before it gets better. And I've been, I cleaned out the kids' room, donated clothes. We've had a dumpster. We have to get another dumpster. Um, it's insane. Here comes Jax. So right now we're just focusing on donation piles, um, throwaway piles, what we're keeping. And our room is the worst. So I want to start on that tonight. Go through our closet. Our new closet at the new house is like my dream closet. It is so big and we have so much room. You guys know I have a Buff Bunny collection collection it's basically like i collect their clothes because i i don't want to get rid of old stuff because they're like limited edition stuff so um i have a lot of buff bunny collection um we have a lot of clothes so to have this new closet is going to be incredible i can't wait to show you guys um i also just wanted to say i'm very hesitant about showing the house and like i'm probably not going to do a full house tour just because i never want it to come off the wrong way feeling just so grateful and i don't want it to come off as me like Look at my house, because I just think that's so cringy. So I'm not gonna be doing a full house tour. I know everybody wants one, but I just feel like it would be weird to do. Um, our privacy has already been violated. Somebody was sending our address around. So I, I decided I'm taking the power away from those people. We're gonna have a great security system. We have methods of protection, so it's whatever. I'm gonna show whatever I wanna show, but just please know that from the bottom of my heart, we are so grateful for everything that we have. And we're very, very blessed and so lucky. And I just never want it to come off that I'm like showing off or anything like that. Um, that's kind of like my fear with this new house. Um, we're just very excited. And I just can't wait to show you guys like me getting it all homey and organizing it. And I'm just really excited, but also nervous because I never want to come off that way. You guys know me. Um, so I hope that you guys understand that. That's just one thing that's made me a little hesitant. I'm not sure like what all I'm gonna show and stuff. Um, but I know those of you guys who love me and know my heart know that that's never my intention. Um, I just don't want it to come off the wrong way if that makes sense. So, but we're really excited. Um, I'm gonna show you our closet right now. Um, Mom, if you're done, we should go for a walk. Okay. <laughs> Whose birthday is next week? Me. <gasps> How old are you gonna be? can't believe it. But I'm five right now. No, how old are you right now? Four. Yep. In seven days, you're gonna be five years old. And what kind of birthday party are you having? Spiderman. Yeah! You graduating from preschool? Mm-hmm. What school is next? Big school. Big boy school, kindergarten. <laughs> <gasps> are you so excited? Yeah. I can't believe it, you guys. He is getting so old. So it's just so crazy that he's turning five. I want some popcorn. Here. Thank you. Thank you. One other thing that people have noticed is I don't show Wesson as often just because he is getting older. He's going to elementary school, and I just want to, like, keep his life a little bit more private. Um, and I know you guys respect that, but just for his privacy and his, you know, respecting him um, as he gets older... Of course, you'll see him every now and then, but I don't want to detail like every little thing in his life, kind of like how I used to. What are you doing? Are you playing? Our house is a mess right now, but it is what it is. You got this little Love Every kit. We love these Love Every kits. Push it. <gasps> Let me see. Push it. <gasps> Yay! Big boy. And Jax is 15 months old. He has his doctor appointment on Friday. What's the matter? <laughs> oh. So this is what we're working with. It's insane. We even got this 
separate little dresser and I have to put stuff on top of it. This whole dresser is packed full of Buff Bunny stuff. This is all, I could not keep it organized for the life of me. And this is so embarrassing, but this is our closet. It's literally completely full of clothes on both sides. We got this thing, this, literally clothes everywhere. This freaking thing has clothes. This is all Shay's clothes. Like, it's so bad. We have, This closet is so tiny for the both of us. And with my Buff Bunny collection, collection? <laughs> this is all Buff Bunny collection jackets. And then like right here is like more of my cardigans and dresses and stuff. And then there's like this whole cubicle down here. Like I've tried everything, but we just do not have room in this house. So I'm ready to start going through Shay's stuff, which we haven't done yet. All of this crap down here. And... We'll see what we can do. This over here is all clothes, clothes, clothes. All of these are full. Like, it's just too much. So we have to go through. We have to go through everything and hopefully you can get this a little more organized and ready to move. Okay, so right now I'm going to go through my Buff Bunny collection leggings and bras and just pack up most of it and keep out some pieces obviously to work out in and same with all the other clothes like t-shirts um like lounge pants like pack up most of it and then just like live on just a couple things right now so one less laundry and i'm gonna do this for shay too and then we'll have most of the other clothes packed up ready to go to the new house so our other closet our new closet is mostly hang like hangers so um, I'm gonna do that little hack where you put the, you like separate it. I think you do like 15, like separate them like this and then you put a garbage bag over top and just tie it up here. And it's like so easy to just move your clothes like that. I'm also going to put some of my, like how I just said I was gonna, um, like how I just said I'm going to pack up a lot of our stuff. I'm gonna put it in garbage bags. And then I saw this thing on TikTok where you put your clothes in here and then put a vacuum in here and it sucks it up and makes it like smaller and easier to move. So we'll see if that works. Um, but right now I'm just going to go through, figure out what I want to keep for the next four weeks and then pack everything else up. All right. So here's the piles of leggings that I'm going to store away until we move that I'm just not going to use. I like to have options. So these are all the ones I'm keeping so far. I still have this top drawer, which is all black leggings this whole drawer <laughs> there's like some patterns in here but i'm gonna go through this oh there's some pink in here um there's shorts so i'm gonna go through this drawer next and then see what we got and see what i can fit how many bags i'm gonna need to store them okay so this is all the clothes that i'm going to store away or leggings at least i still have to do bras and tops um jax is here with me he's so dirty <laughs> Um, so I'm about to put some of them in here and use the vacuum and see if it works. He really wants my <laughs> camera. Okay. Okay. Let's see if this works. I'm honestly not sure. that's gonna be so much nicer having like with not having like giant bags oh it's kind of inflating a little bit maybe I need to tie it tighter but wow okay I'm gonna keep doing that with all my clothes and we're gonna go through Shay's clothes too and then I'll show you where we're at I wanted to show you guys these are already like kind of inflating a little bit it's hard to like tie them off without letting the air out so I got these from Walmart um it's basically the same thing it's by Hefty um, it's like a storage bag, so you just put everything in there, seal it up, and then you stick the vacuum right here, and it sucks all the air out. Um, so I'm going to try this instead. Um, I also have, I packed this box with some clothes. We have boxes, so we'll see how this one works. Okay, guys, so this whole thing just fit both of those trash bags full of clothes, and there's still, like, room in here. Um, so you just, like, seal it up with this little thing. Um, and now, I think all you do is...
kind of heavy, but <laughs> that just pretty much stored all of that, all of those clothes that were in those trash bags. So I have another one of these, which I'll probably do a Shay's clothes. Um, so yeah, those are really nice. So we just went through all of Shay's clothes that were in the closet and that's more dirty clothes. We have so much. Um, here's the closet now. It looks so much better, like way better. So now what I'm doing is we have some boxes of clothes. I have this thing of mine and then I'm going to hang a bunch of his shirts that, so this is all stuff that he wants to keep, but he's just going to pack away right now. And he kept like other stuff to wear for the next few weeks. Um, but like I said, our closet at the new house is mostly like, um, hanging. So I'm going to hang all of these shirts and then do the garbage bag hack where you just slip a garbage bag on top and move them just like that. And then you can just go to your new house and hang them right up. So all right, here's the progress we made tonight. I feel so much better. These drawers are just full of way less packed, um, of stuff that I'm just keeping out for now. Um, really empty. So it feels so good. And then the closet, way more empty and then these clothes we're just going to put into groups and put trash bags on so we moved some stuff into Weston's room and did the trash bag thing so I think it'll be good this is empty too so oh, I feel a million times better all right so I just put the dishes in the dishwasher I'm making dinner right now I have some chicken and broccoli and green beans in the oven and I'm going to make a salad for me uh, rice aroni chicken for Shay and then on the chicken I'm gonna put pizza sauce mozzarella and pepperoni so like pizza chicken I think I have a recipe on my YouTube of that recipe but I need to clean it's very messy in here and then I'm gonna cut up some strawberries and put them in this little thing I love this thing I got it at Walmart I'll try to find it and link it it's dirty and it's cleaned out first so yeah green beans and I have a salad with some cottage cheese, carrots, red onion, cheese, spinach, romaine, and a little bit of ranch. And that's what we're having. And of course, lots of water. And I also have a Dr. Pepper Zero. Hello guys, it's the next day now. Um, I'm making my wrap for lunch. I have been obsessed with this. I've been eating it every day. Um, I use the extreme wellness wraps, but these I found at Kroger, they're the large wraps. Um, here's the macros. I know they're two points on Weight Watchers. The regular ones are one, but these big ones are only 80 calories and two points. And I mean, it's a good size. So I just do one of these. I use these buffalo chicken breasts by Tyson. I have them in my air fryer. And then what I do is spread one laughing cow cheese on here. Um, I put lettuce, uh, where's my cheese? Shredded cheddar cheese and then ranch, and I do homemade ranch. Um, it's not healthy, just putting it out there. It's not like the healthiest ranch, but I just use a little bit, and it just satisfies me so much more, and I love it. It is restaurant ranch, like Wingstop ranch. It's so good. It's just one cup of mayo, one cup of buttermilk, and one packet of Hidden Valley restaurant style seasoning mix, and you just mix it all up, and I put it in this little squeezy bottle I got from Walmart, and it's amazing. Alrighty, I just got just a tiny little grocery haul. We just needed a couple things, so I figured I'd show you guys what we got. Jack's you gonna help me. Jack's just had his doctor's appointment today and he's growing so well. He's such a big boy. Okay, so I got some more skinny pop. Um, this is the white cheddar individual bags. This is like my favorite snack right now. So good. This is all from Kroger also, by the way. Um, Cheez-Its for the kids. Weston loves Cheez-Its, so does my husband. And then I got some more baby carrots. 
some more of these Extreme Wellness, the large ones that I was telling you guys about. I love these, so I got two packs of these. I can only find the big ones at Kroger. So if you have Kroger or like a store that's like affiliated with Kroger, you could maybe find them. Again, the, the large ones are two points on Weight Watchers and the regular ones are just one. Um, but they're, they're so big, which is why I love them. And then I got some of these ice cream cups. Um, these are a great little uh, treat. This is like the best ice cream. Weston loves these. Um, uh, Mama, like as a treat after dinner. Okay, you can, can you open them? Yeah. And then we got some chocolate milk for Weston. We got oh. you some more chocolate milk. Yeah. <laughs> what are you wearing? Hey. Okay, and then I got, I have been obsessed with this spicy hummus. I've been obsessed with spicy <laughs> stuff lately. I don't know, who am I guys? <laughs> I, you guys know I'm normally not a spicy person, but lately I've been putting like red pepper flakes on everything. I just love it. And then I got some more ranch uh, mix for my homemade ranch. I think I got two of those. And I got some raisins for Jax. He's gonna want those. Oh, you want some raisins? <laughs> okay. Okay, and then I got some boiled eggs because I'm lazy and this buffalo chicken dip. It's only 100 calories for two tablespoons, a little bit on some hard boiled eggs. I saw my friend Britt Pope on Instagram doing this and she put like a seasoning on it. She used Trader Joe's buffalo chicken dip, which I have to make a run to Trader Joe's. Probably once we move to the new house, I will. Um, but this just sounded so good. I think I'm gonna make this for a snack right now. I got some more Laughing Cow uh, Swiss wedges for my wraps. And then I got string cheese for the boys. Jax does not drink whole milk because he's just, it literally took me forever to get Jax off of formula because he would not drink almond milk, whole milk, like nothing. The only thing that he drinks is oat milk and he drinks water all day, but he gets an oat milk bottle before bed warm. Um, so I just give him, so I just make sure to give him whole yogurt. We do the organic Stony Field brand uh, pouches and um like whole milk cheese and stuff like that and he's fine his i just told his doctor today and she's like that's fine so that's our little mini haul mommy i found it i found the straw yep you want some yeah i want some okay this little snack. So I have a boiled egg. I'm just going to slice it in yeah. half. Excuse my crazy kids in the background. And then I'm going to take, sorry, my counter's dirty right here. I need to clean it. Um, some of this buffalo dip. I don't have the seasoning that she used, but it's not opening. I've just been super into buffalo stuff lately. I don't know why. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this dip on top. And like I said, she uses the Trader Joe's one, so that one might be better than this one. We'll see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna do seasoning, but we'll see how it tastes. Oh my god. If you're like me and boiled eggs, you just can't do, they're just like dry. Um, this is amazing. Oh my god. I have to post about this on Instagram. This is the best snack. Wow. 10 out of 10 recommend. Britt, if you're watching this, great one. <laughs> this is such a good combo. Oh my god. Mm, my kids are having a meltdown, so I gotta go.
I'm really excited to move to our new house for a bunch of reasons, but really just to be able to like set up a tripod and get like way better cleaning and organizing videos for you guys. Like I had to put my camera in the fridge. There's just the, the setup of this kitchen. Like if I wanted to set up a tripod, I couldn't set it up in a way that you guys could see what I'm doing on my countertop. So like in the new house, we have like an island and you can, it'll just be so much easier to like do things and film things in the new house. Um, this house is just set up super weird. There's like no room to show you guys what I'm doing except for with this little tripod, which I have to like position in random spots. Anyways, I'm excited to do YouTube videos again. So I don't know, I hope you guys like this video. We'll see how it comes together. I'm excited to edit it, which is good. Like <laughs> normally I'm like, eh, like towards the end before I was just like never wanted to edit, but I'm excited. But I think that's where I'm gonna end my video today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was enjoyable for you. Um, it was fun to film it and um, I'm excited for the next like few months and everything that's to come. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Mm -hmm.